All right, the sixth annual Black Owned Wine and Spirits Festival, also known as Both Fest, is taking place this Saturday in Southeast DC. And here with me in the Great Day Kitchen, we have the festival's founder, the founder of the entire thing, Chanel Turner. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Good morning. What made you want to do this? You started this six years ago. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Um, the the idea and the goal was to increase visibility for blacks in the wine and spirit industry. Yeah. Uh, my team and I, we wanted to create a platform that would uh, help highlight the inequities in the wine and spirit mm -hmm. industry for mm -hmm. African Americans and then give Afri African Americans an opportunity to showcase their products to attendees and other consumers in this market. Is it tough, especially I would assume as a black woman? in this industry that's hard already in the spirits industry yes. what's that like it has its challenges um mm -hmm. when i first started in 2009 there was very little information or resources available mm. um, i found myself digging and trying to you know find my way yeah. um over the years <clears throat> um i've learned that uh through group economics and coming mm -hmm. together as as one we can you know help each other get through yeah. this yeah yes. well I'm, clearly you've succeeded this is your own <laughs> bottle here what what did you bring for us here uh today it's we are gorgeous. going to oh thank you this is Fudre vodka this is actually my brainchild oh um, crazy yes look, thank you look you did it yes <laughs> <laughs> today we're going to create a pomegranate blush it's a okay. uh brunch cocktail since it's yeah. early in the morning we too don't want early. anything too heavy right <laughs> so a uh, brunch cocktail so we're going to start with okay. a little Fudre vodka all right why mm. vodka? Why did you pick vodka? You know, vodka is one of the uh, spirits you can make pretty much out of anything. Um, mm. And so more importantly, it's something that you can uh, make today and sell tomorrow. A lot of other oh, spirits okay. require you to uh, go through your aging process. Oh, and so for right. me, I looked at the spirit industry and vodka, when I first entered the industry, was the number one spirit in the world. And so wow. it's the one of the spirits that's the most versatile. You can pretty much do anything with it. Mm -hmm. And so it was one that I thought was a great choice. Purple is my favorite color. So good yes. choice on that. Yes, <laughs> royalty. So yes. we'll put about two ounces of Fudre Vodka in here. Okay. We have a little Parma juice here. About two nice. ounces of that as well. I liked it. And you pulled out some of the seeds too. Yes, the, yes. <laughs> it's got that's both covered. A little ginger canton here. What is that? <laughs> oh, this is ginger canton. Oh, okay. it's a ginger. It's, it's a ginger liqueur. Liqueur. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a good drink. <laughs> the grapefruit smells so nice and citrusy too. Do you like that for a brunch? Yes, definitely, cocktail. definitely. Mm -hmm. And we try to use fresh ingredients whenever we create our cocktails. Okay. Um, so any type of herbs, citrus, anything like that, yeah. uh, we try to uh, make sure we utilize here. Nice. All right. I'm gonna add a little ice here. Some nice ice. Right. Nice, nice, little, nice little shake. Nice little oh, shake. Oh, you even have the up and down. Yeah, yeah. Up and down. <laughs> okay, here. That's cool. We'll pour this here. Actually, before we do that, for good decor. Yes. We'll it's got to be pretty if it's a brunch drink. Ariel's here. You're planning to expand this festival as well, right? More yes. cities coming in 2023? Most definitely. Our goal is to continue to. Uh, introduce and highlight uh, African-American spirits around the United States. So for mm -hmm. us, it's to bring our festival to new markets, giving other wow. opportunities to brands within that particular market. Wow, okay, all right. all right. As you're pouring that there, tell us who, if you can multitask, can you tell us who will be there, the lineup? Will we know some of the people? And you have some artists coming in Almost as well. Almost definitely. So uh, this year you can expect brand, brands such as um, not only Fudre Vodka, uh, we have brands such mm -hmm. as Tika Capri Tequila. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Uncle Nares will be there. Sorel will be there. Equiano, Den of Thieves, Tolero, many, many more. And then our lineup is just amazing. Uh, this year yeah. we brought back DC Zone Black Alley. Uh, they joined yeah. us in uh, 2019 and they just killed it. So yeah. uh, we look forward to bringing them back. And also this year we're at a new venue. Uh, yes. HQO, yeah, HQO Events. Which it's is a, new in itself, right? It, which is a new <laughs> venue in itself, gorgeous rooftop. Um, yeah. I look forward to uh, the festival there this year. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You have some nice swag there too. I love right. all of the things. All right. So did, we're oh, and we're adding. Sorry. Yeah, top Keep off going. a little prosecco. <laughs> here. A little brunch. And do we put a, a slice of grapefruit and on a there slice too? Of grapefruit it's just beautiful. For, just for Chanel. Thank yeah. you so much You're welcome. for coming today. Congratulations. Thank Six you. years. That's amazing. We're going to have you back at ten, so you ten. can tell there us. You go how you've taken over across the country. Again, this festival is happening it's this Saturday, September 10th. It's in Navy Yard, and you can purchase tickets at Bowes, B-O-W-S, fest.com. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much.